Last week, with the introduction of the lush caves into the game, this naturally got people asking the question, when is its partner biome, the dripstone caves, going to be coming to Minecraft? And luckily everyone, I think that that question has been answered, because in this video, I am going to be talking about how the new dripstone caves update has been leaked by Mojang. So if you do go on to enjoy the video and find it useful, be sure to drop it a like and subscribe if you're new around here. I do daily Minecraft videos, but without wasting any more time, everyone, on, let's just get right into it. Now, as usual, this began on Twitter with Minecraft News, who made everyone aware, according to Echo Soldier, Dripstone Caves have been officially leaked in the Bedrock Files. Now, if you do not know who Echo Soldier is, he's a big legend in the Minecraft scene, long-time Minecraft content creator, so very credible, and he actually made a video talking about how to get Dripstone Caves in Minecraft as a result of them being leaked. I'll leave that video in the link in the description. But basically in the video he talked about how in the changelog it talked about the release of the dripstone caves in bedrock edition and at first I did not believe this I just thought it was so unlikely and so unmojang something they would never do in a million years but you know it turns out to be true Mojang did actually leave one line of text in the update files for the last minecraft beta and it actually says clusters of point dripstone columns in the ceiling and on the floors of caves are placed out during world generation and this was basically revealing the introduction of the new dripstone caves biome to bedrock edition this happened with the lush caves obviously they put a bunch of lines of text saying like moss now generates glow berries now generate just everything new that generates to make up the new biome so I'm guessing that every line was taken out apart from this one it was either left in by accident or added by accident maybe Mojang thought they could add it as a part of the last beta but it was not ready so they had to remove all these lines of text or maybe they just slipped that one in there by accident no one really knows how this happened but this reveals one thing for certain there is a new dripstone caves bedrock beta or even maybe a snapshot potentially coming very soon as you might have saw in last week's snapshot video with the introduction of the lush caves one of the first questions i asked is when is its partner biome the dripstone caves come into the game because i arguably like them more than the lush caves and it looks like our question has been answered although we've not got a direct date as to when we'll see these we've definitely now got it narrowed down to it will be sometime soon and as a result of this and everyone talking about it and now everyone knowing that the these were intended to be in the last beta. Jay Wells, who works at Mojang, has edited the changelog a bit. There were a couple of dripstone entries in there that weren't quite ready. Now, the thing that we need to focus on out of all this is that they weren't quite ready. Now, what does he mean by this? Were they delayed because they weren't ready to be added yet? Or were they intended to be in a past beta or a future? beta what I think it was is maybe Mojang wanted to get a beta out there for all of you bedrock players because people were asking for it and people were getting a bit you know anxious saying when are we gonna be getting a beta we've been waiting forever now so maybe they were trying to push out a dripstone cave beta but due to the breakthrough of the mountains being ready as a result of the hard hard work of the bedrock team maybe they pushed back the dripstone caves to add them at a bit of a later date when they're going through a bit of a dry spot when there's nothing else to add or maybe who knows what happened behind the scenes maybe just Mojang we're gonna add them with the mountains originally but they did not want to take people's attention away from the brand new mountains who knows but this is definitely very exciting to know that Mojang are in fact working on the dripstone caves we do not know if the Java team is also working on them or if it's just maybe the bedrock team we've noticed something interesting over the past few months with the caves and cliffs update and that is 
that the Bedrock team and the Java team are not working hand in hand on one feature at the same time. They're actually kind of working on their own separate features. So, well, originally the first beta for Bedrock was about the goat and the powder snow. The Java team were working on other things and then when the Bedrock team added the mountains, the Java team added lush caves. It's just pretty cool to see how they're both working on different aspects of the game, different aspects of the update. I'm guessing they're doing this so they can just get through more and get more done so that they can kind of copy each other towards the end to just implement them missing features that still need to be added. But it's just so interesting to know that the Bedrock team is working on this and could this be hinting at stalactites and stalagmites generating not only in the dripstone caves but around every cave? Because if you read that change log, that change, it's as close as a pointed dripstone columns in the ceiling and on the floors of caves are placed during world generation. It does not say specifically dripstone caves, it says on the floors of caves. So that's just really cool to see and I hope they do add this because it would just add a bit more of an atmosphere to the current caves, make them a bit more creepy, feel a bit more like caves and I would just really love to see this feature. But yeah I know there's uh, quite a bit of speculation involved in this video so be sure you let me know what you think about all this down below in the comments. Do you think that this was literally just an accident by Maljang and they put this change log in by mistake or do you think Maljang Jango are quickly trying to change up the beta and they left the, this in there by accident which is actually giving us a big hint as to what the next update will be. Let me know your opinion down below in the comments and if you made it this far be sure you go down below and comment Apple and I'll try my hardest to drop a heart on the comment and I just want to give you all a big big thank you for all of the support. We're over halfway to our goal of 25,000 subscribers which is just incredible to think think about everyone so if you want to help us get there even quicker be sure you share the channel around to any other people you know that may be interested in minecraft content and if you've not already be sure to check us out on twitter twitch and discord there's links to all of those in the description everyone and be sure you have that notification bell turned on for more daily minecraft content i've been talking about this quite a lot at the end of some recent videos but i have some absolutely huge content i've been working working on for a while now coming up, some very exciting videos, some projects I've been working on, so of course if you do not want to miss them, subscribe with that notification bell on, and be sure you go over to the community tab every now and then, I've been doing daily polls over there, and it's just really fun, it gives me an idea of your guys' interests and what you like more about Minecraft, it's just a pretty cool way of kind of enlightening myself with your guys' opinions, what you think about the game, and what you like but without wasting any more time i'm gonna go now play some minecraft i hope you all enjoyed and i'll see you all tomorrow for another video goodbye